kills and kills. They, I don't. I feel like they don't care. At this moment, they just go ahead with it. Whoever they saw, they're just going to try and get a kill. They're getting outclassed here. It's not a good look for any esports right now. <laughs> no way. No, that's so uh, disrespectful. He's trying to mess. He's trying to get into Cram's head. He's just like, oh, nothing's going bad in this game. Proceeds the wall to save. <laughs> I'd be furious as well. He <laughs> He's so disrespectful. They know they have checkmate angle. It's just 70 seconds before the game technically ends. Oh, the little say, I don't need this out for you guys. Looking at Red Esport and also Selangor Red Giant. Selangor Red Giant have a more capability towards the early game, while Red Esport, they have no problem scaling towards the late game. How Red Esport we fell up against the Lango Red Giant, especially coming to the early game. We want to see whether the Lango Red Giant will utilize the damages that they have in this early game or not. But Yooms, Yooms. Kim is in so much trouble. He's about to die here. One more. Uh, oh, the fear lands in time. Uh, but the nature's barrier. Yooms is like, ah. Based on this situation, Slango Jane just might dominate this game. I mean, speaking of which, oh mm. my goodness, Blaze mm. just gets blown up here. Break the passive from Stormy and then wait for your ult to come back up in 60 seconds. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, oh, no. oh, the Black Advice already came down quickly with the Quad Shadow. He manages to almost get out of there. The Oki Shadow kill dodges, but now Iris looking for a trade back. Cracking open the Aurora, and now Cram should be the next to fall. That Revitalize gonna keep him up for only so long, but Innocent here manages to rotate in time. Iris misses the Onward, and Grace getting hit by the Lycan Pound, still alive. In the meantime, Stormy does find a growing wand of his own. Continues on with the second turtle take. It's just gonna increase, but wow. Wild charge. An easy answer for Sky to finish, it, uh, to finish us off the job. Okay, all right. Good setup as well. Looks like SRG back into their winning ways. Iris here to try and disrupt. Glorious pathway. Oh, the flicker forward to try and knock him up, but it doesn't matter. Ooh. Oh, Tetsui, he gets the steal. And now the fracture from Sakai. He's so low. Manages to get the kill. Wait, no. Stormy manages to get the kill despite Sakai's retributing Iris. Of course, at the same time, they have to trade some of the life to uh, Slango Vijayan. I mean, I don't know how much life they actually have to trade, right? Sakai, he's got so much damage. He's already got two Fury Hammers. Mm. And even with the Minoan Fury from Grace, they don't take much they just dive him underneath that turret they know that innocent is so far ahead worse yet with the sky piercer there's not much quote unquote running to do as the guy's fractures him to the ground but currently slango Jayan is slowly taking that form of death ball i mean they kills and kills they... i don't i feel like they don't care at this moment, they just go ahead with it. Whoever they saw, they're just going to try and get a kill. Yeah. I mean, they're playing just strong fundamentals. I don't think SRG are doing anything too crazy. Even Yum's knows that, so he can't do anything about it. While Chun comes through! No way! The timing! He already used all four of his shadows, and Yum's flexes on him! Ah, uh, that nice rotation from Skies. Helping out Yum's. What a bait! What a bait! Gosh. They're getting outclassed here. It's not a good look for Red Esports right now. <laughs> no way. No, that's so uh, disrespectful. He's trying to mess. He's trying to get into Cram's head. He's just like, oh, nothing's going bad in this game. Proceeds the wall to save. <laughs> I'd be furious as well. He <laughs> He's so disrespectful. They know they have checkmate angle. It's just 70 seconds before the game technically ends. Oh, uh, the little say, I don't need this out for you guys. Oh, that blows, that blows. But Owl recently got his Holy Glaive. So, sorry, a Divine Glaive. So at this point, I'm curious where he is in his item build path. Has he already finished mm. all three? Winter Crown, get rolled. Winter Crown, get rolled. I'm sorry, uh. I'm sorry, guys, did you like that? But can you blame him? I mean, nothing can be done. The differences in terms of uh, itemization here with 11k gold lead. I'm pretty sure even if there is no winter current, he could just swap out immortality, but in the bottom side. Oh my god, Owl is trapped. He knows he's trapped. He gets hit. Oh my goodness, he explodes. Where did he go? I blinked and he's gone! And now SRG walking into the base for free, flickering wild charge onto two fights in. Iris takes out Yum, but he gives his life in sacrifice as the rest of SRG crack open the crystal. An insanely dominant game number one by SRG. Uh, I, 
honestly, I really don't know what to say about both of these drafts, especially coming from the Red Esport. I'm kind of intrigued to see how they're going to make this work. The Thor has already been stopped by Skies, but Focus is in the middle lane. They're going to get this. Yooms dies for sure. And now, oh, the Flicker coming in from Iris himself to lock down the Nolan. Gets knocked up. Direct impact to Skies. Oh. Still able to secure. Cram finds his own, and Sakai's takes out race. What did I say? Man, even. And you know what? The, the funniest part is that they had so little faith in that working out, even Innocent wanted to get an assist on it. It's like, ah, Spirit Destruction, we'll make something happen. Here comes the Daytona's welcome. Is it going to connect us? And Sui tries to use the quad channel. Iris, he cancels it off as Cram is able to knock him out. Oh. In the midst of time, fights one, looking for a second, circling Eagle to buy some time as they get pulled in underneath the turret with the blind kid of ice. Going to make sure that they know their place. Oh, Kim, he was about to eat it there. Cram could go in. Yes, he Cram? does. Let's cancel out Iris, unfortunately. But how about their defensive capabilities? Who are they going to utilize to clear ah! lane? Ah, Iris missed the Daytona's welcome. He flops it, and now they're getting punished. The circling eagle so deep in. Grace gets on out of there. Ready Esports, they're only willing to sacrifice one. Wait, is he going for round two? I mean, Owl, he ends up getting blasted by Sakai. Sakai's just too far ahead in the game. And even with the Aegis, didn't even matter. I mean, there's not much choice for, for all right now. He, it's not like he can pick a mobility spell, but one kick from Yums. It's it's impossible to play. Um, Perfect chain CC. Right. Spear destruction. Now Cram's on the board. One kill and two assists. Yeah. Nine minutes mark. 11k goal ahead. Oh, here they go. Conceal. SRG. They want to force the play once again. They've got the way of the dragon. And it looks like it almost connected. The guy still gets Iris at the end of the day. Yooms didn't even have to use it. Innocent breaks down the inhibitor turret, but the guy is just pressing for damage. Here comes Hitsui. He gets kicked by the way of the dragon. Wasn't expecting it to still be up. Somebody has to tell him. Red Esports. Again, the miscommunications is costing them everything at this point. No more Holy Defense. Slangway Giant. They need to end the game, maybe? Blanket Device is already out as they're heading straight for the Crystal here, but the wave player isn't that great. They do use the Shadows. Unfortunately, Yoki Shadow Kick can only do so much as they walk right in, and SRG, they're not even interested with the Crystal until the very end. GG well played. SRG still showing why they're the top of the leaderboards. And if I'm not mistaken, that is the fastest game in our league. 10 minutes, 22 seconds. No way. Yes. If I'm not mistaken, the fastest previously was 10 minutes, 23 seconds. Oh my goodness. Well, we're going to double check that. We're going to throw it over to Zipper uh, Zipper to uh, fact check that for us. What, an, what a dangerous, dangerous team. I would hate to be on the receiving side of that. But literally, Slango Red Giant came in today and it's like a walk in a park for them to gain this clean three points for today. Yeah.